Good afternoon. Welcome to another Tech Tuesday. This one's running a little bit late, so it may not be posted on a Tuesday, but uh, we're going to talk about Google Hangouts today and what you can do with Google Hangouts and why Google Hangouts is such a useful tool uh, to a classroom teacher or why it could be such a use useful tool to a classroom teacher. Let's just go straight to Hangouts. Uh, like most other Google products, if you type in hangouts.google.com, it'll take you there. You can also find it from your app launcher um, or from Google Plus, which is in another video. I'm linking to it right here. Now, we go to Google Hangouts, and it's going to pop up. Nice, pretty background that it pulls off of Google Plus. These are public uh, pictures that they use. It has all your conversations over here on the left uh, automatically pops up for you. And you have some options and some video calls and phone calls. And then you also have your standard Google, you know, your image to know that you're logged in as you, your announcements, um, little, little app launcher there, and then your name, in case you forget. So let's talk about these different things we can do with Google Hangouts. Um, first off, it's an instant messaging program. So if you're ever uh, like I am in, in a supply closet somewhere messing with uh, um, Ethernet cables or, or you're somewhere where you don't get good cell phone signal, um, but you do have wireless, which is kind of a common thing nowadays. Um, um, so you can use Google Hangouts to message people uh, if they're if they have Google Hangouts, especially if it's installed on their phone. But the great thing is it'll go to their computer. So if I'm on my computer and you're on your phone, um, you can send me a Google Hangout message and it'll pop up on my computer and we can talk back and forth that way if we need to. Um, but to do that from your computer side, you just click over here. It automatically pops up for you in the messaging and you can look for people. So I can look for myself on my personal account and I can click on me and then I can send myself messages. And then I can also check it on my phone where I'm logged in on my other account and send myself messages back. And so we see the, the messages coming back and forth down here. Um, the great thing about that is, is is instant messaging. It's free. It's through your Google. Um, so everything's backed up. If you have a conversation and you forget, you know, you remember something about a conversation, you need to go back and look. All those transcripts are there. Google saves everything for you. It's no problem. Now, let's talk about the coolest part of Google Hangouts. It's video calls, okay? You can FaceTime, to use an Apple phrase, uh, with people on Google Hangouts. It's totally free. All you need is an internet connection and some sort of device that has Google Hangouts installed on it. Um, I have Google Hangout on my phone, uh, going to a meeting, till I got to the meeting, then I was able to be at the meeting. Um, Google Hangout on my computer, uh, with my webcam. Most laptops and Chromebooks nowadays have webcams built in, so you're good to go with all that. Um, but let's do a video call, and um, I'm going to use my phone to call the computer, and we'll just go through the process real quick, and then I'll talk about why it's such a cool thing for a classroom teacher to be able to do video calls like this for absolutely free. So let's see. On my phone, I'm going to click the little icon button, and I'm calling myself. So when I'm calling myself, it gives me a little option here to either decline or answer it. I'm going to answer it. And I see myself. And I, see myself. And I just put it on mute just to uh, make sure that uh, we're not going to get an echo. Now, when it pops up, uh, you can see, let me get it in the screen here, that uh, it tells you to allow the, ca the, the camera webcam to be used. So it's just a little pop-up button. Uh, you click allow, and now we're muted on both sides so we don't get feedback. Um, and I can see that I am here on my cell phone, and then I can also see it on my cell phone the other way. Um, I can present my desktop um, to everybody simply by going over here and doing a screen share, and I can pick which screen I want to shoot, if I want to just do um, a particular program, um, an entire screen, uh, you know, if I want to show how people how to use my, my inbox on my email, I can use that program. Um, you know, how, however we want to share it, it now goes and shares out to everybody in the conversation. So we can see here, or if I can get this zoomed in enough, 
that we're actually sharing what's actually going on live on the screen. So it's kind of awkward to do this, but I can see what's what everybody else sees. And it's got a little bit of a delay, but I'm going from one camera through the internet to another screen and then back. And so we expect a little bit of a delay. Um, we'll put my phone back down. Um, you don't have to, you can ignore people. Um, you can mute people. Like I'm muted on my phone and on my desktop just so I don't get a lot of feedback because the microphones and the speakers are so close. Um, but you can mute, you can uh, turn your camera off. Um, so if I turn my camera off, um, it pops back up on my phone and this will be on another computer too. Just my icon image, uh, just my face, my Google identification image. Um, so I don't have to be live on camera the whole time. I can sit there and, and just have my image up. And so people know, you know, who I am and, and who's talking to them and whatnot, but not necessarily the video of me, uh, so to speak. So we can adjust uh, bandwidth use. So if, if you got a low bandwidth, you don't have a lot of speed on your internet, um, you can adjust that so it'll, it'll go smoother. You can change a few other settings. You can add more people to the, the Hangout and you can actually leave the call. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave the call. And now I'm done with the phone call and it hangs back up on my phone um, automatically, just like a phone call. Now, I get a little message here in my uh, stream of chats from myself to myself showing that I was in a phone call with me. And then if we came back to this later on, it would actually give me the time and date. Well, there we go, I'll mouse over it. it. Gives you the time and date. Um, of when that phone call occurred. So it's kind of a good communications record um, if you're gonna use it for such. Now, let me talk for just a minute about why Google Hangout is so cool and such a useful possibility to be used in the classroom. As we all know, uh, lots of us are very knowledgeable in the area that we teach, but we're not necessarily experts or we don't actually work in that field, we just teach in that field. I used to teach physical science, there's no job of physical science. So I had to be good at chemistry. I had to know my physics. I had to know math. Um, I had to teach the children all these things. And so if I wanted to bring in somebody who was really, really smart in, in say physics, I could either go get a guest speaker to come into my classroom or I could call somebody and say, hey, can we do a Google Hangout real quick and you can talk to my kids, let them ask a couple questions. That way you're not inconveniencing your guest speaker. You're bringing an expert into your classroom. Uh, the kids are interacting with them. Another useful thing I've seen with Google uh, Hangouts is students in one classroom being able to talk to students in another classroom halfway around the world. Um, if you're teaching a foreign language, how awesome would it be to have a conversation between your students and students in Germany or France or, or Brazil? Um, you just have to set these things up. You don't have to meet with these people. Most of the time, if you say, hey, can we do a Google Hangout real quick? Most people are going to say, yeah, because how long does it take? Okay, I'm going to sit down for 15 minutes at my desk, um, talk to some people. If I'm a lawyer, I'd probably do that. You know, hey, you want to be a lawyer? Let's ask some questions. You know, get out there. It's great publicity for people in business. It's great when you're talking between classrooms. Um, busy people who couldn't take the time to come into a school often can take the 15, 20 minutes to sit down at their desk and do a Google Hangout with your classroom. So that's Google Hangouts in a nutshell. Play around with it, use it. Um, leave the comments down below how you decided to use it or if you use it in your classroom or what other great ideas you can come up with for using Google Classroom. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up if you like this video.